We understand a print shop schedule can be crazy. Busy season, slow season, or maybe just a good old vacation, there may come a time where you need to step away from your printing. You wanna make sure you, when you return to your operation, all of your equipment is in proper working order. In today's video, we're gonna be going over long-term storage mode and how to perform it with the STS XPD 724. This will ensure when you return back to your print shop, no clogged nozzles, and you can resume operation as normal. Stefan here with All American Print Supply, and we noticed that a lot of our viewers are coming from non-subscribers. So if you landed on this video by mistake, or just stopping on back, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button for us right now. And if there's any questions on anything we're going over today, leave that in the comment section down below. All right, so what exactly do we need to perform long-term storage mode with the XPD 724? Well, first, we're gonna need all of our cleaning solution cartridges. The next thing we're gonna need is our empty gallon bottle. Before we begin, and after we perform our long-term storage mode, we're gonna be emptying that waste tube. So we wanna make sure we have somewhere to put all of our liquid ink waste. The last thing we're gonna need is our laptop with our STS and MSM software already installed. Because we're gonna be following all the prompts on screen, we're gonna need our computer to execute long-term storage mode. It'll be over before you know it. Now, before you begin your long-term storage mode, it may be advised to perform a quick nozzle check and perhaps even document it. This will give you your current health of each nozzles as well as today's date. So you always have documentation the last time you perform your check. Okay, so here we are on the MSM remote panel, and let's take a look at how we put this into long store mode. We got this little sparkly button right here, long store start, and we're gonna go ahead and hit yes to continue. Now all the instructions are gonna be on screen, we're just gonna follow the prompts one by one as they go. So first thing we're gonna do here, as we can see, is wash the printhead with the cleaning fluid. So we're just gonna go ahead and click the start button. And we wanna make sure that you use the dedicated cleaning fluid. And during the long store, do not turn off the printer unless necessary. We're also gonna make sure that the waste fluid ball has enough space to hold waste fluid. So let's go ahead here and hit the start button like so. So as you can see initially, it is prompting us to empty our waste tank. So we wanna make sure that the waste fluid ball has enough space to hold the waste fluid. So let's go ahead and manually perform the emptying of the waste tank. If you're gonna perform the waste tank emptying, it's gonna be right here on the side. Now, we're gonna take the tube out of its little housing and slowly, gently remove this right out. Now, if you're looking at your waste tube, this positioning is gonna be the locked or closed position. Using our empty gallon bottle, we're gonna safely and securely place this inside, and now we're gonna turn that lever to the vertical position to open it. We'll give this just a moment here, but as we can see, our waste ink is beginning to fill our bottle. I wanna make sure you got your knob turned all the way vertical for even flow. Depending on your print shop or workload schedule, your waste bottle may fill at different times but it'll always alert you to the current status on your MSM. A little agitation may help remove any of the remaining waste ink liquid in there. Just wanna make sure we get a nice good pour. Now it's important to perform your emptying of the waste tube on a regular basis. You don't want any of this direct-to-film printing ink to stain the clear components of your waste tube itself. And it looks like we are just almost done. As you can see the remaining drops here. And we'll just let this slowly come to a final pour. That looks just about empty. Now, before I remove my tube from my gallon, I'm gonna go ahead and lock this in the sideways position to prevent any ink spilling on my floor. There we have it. We'll go ahead and secure this back into the side of the printer in its little housing with the tube in the locked position. So now let's go ahead and hit our start button here. We've just gone ahead and emptied our waste fluid bottle. Okay, so here we have the prompt on screen, is the waste fluid bottle empty? So now we can go ahead and confirm yes because we did physically empty that waste bottle. Let's go ahead and hit yes here. All right, so moving along, 
We're now at step three, remove the cartridges. So we're now gonna one by one, starting on ink channel one, start to remove all of our different ink cartridges and set these aside. Now ink slots seven and eight on our machine already had cleaning solution cartridges installed. We're gonna go ahead and remove these at this time anyway. Now the machine understands that all cartridges have been removed from all slots on the back of the machine. Okay, step four. Now we're gonna set our cleaning cartridges into the ink cartridge slots. You wanna keep the triangle mark of the cleaning cartridge facing up and insert towards the printer side. We're gonna insert the cleaning cartridge all the way to the end of the slots. When all cleaning cartridges are installed, the printer then starts charging the cleaning fluid. Now you wanna make sure you're very careful to prevent any damage when installing your cleaning or your ink cartridges into your machine. If it does not feel that it's loading properly, go ahead and look at the cartridge itself. There may be a sticker or possibly debris, and you also wanna check in the ink tunnel itself. It should fit like a puzzle, nice and easy. Again, you don't wanna be forcing any of these cartridges in, prevent any kind of damage on your machine. Now, please take note, we are exercising caution as we install each of these, making sure that they are sliding in in a nice, smooth, controlled fashion, just like so. Let's go ahead and always making sure our chips are facing in the right direction. If it doesn't go in properly the first time, go ahead and simply remove the cartridge, try and find the proper angle, and then it should fit nice and easy. We're just gonna continue on with slots four. And now on to slot five. Slot six. Now when you're performing the long-term storage mode with your XPD724 and had previously been running your machine with CMYKW, you may have previously had clean solutions in seven and eight. When you're doing long-term storage mode, we're gonna go ahead and remove these specific numered cartridges. And we're gonna be adding in the generic cleaning solution cartridges to perform long-term storage. Once you've successfully installed all the cleaning solution cartridges and none of the numbered valued ones in seven and eight, the machine will begin to charge the cleaning solution into the machine. And there we have it. We have completed step five on our long-term storage mode. And now it's prompting on screen, step six. Let's go ahead and remove the cartridges. So with the same level of caution and care that we installed each of these, we're just gonna go ahead and Gently remove each cartridge one at a time. Keep everything nice and organized. There we go. And now, since we've completed step six, the machine is telling me it's time for step seven, which is gonna be to discharge our cleaning fluid. So on screen, it's advising me here that the discharge of the clean fluid will take about three minutes. And if you notice up top, we have a handy little progress bar sort of percentage point, and this will let us know how far along in the process we are. So we'll see in about three minutes. Three minutes later. And there we have it. That was pretty straightforward, right? Super easy with the MSN to perform long-term storage mode with the XPD724. For more information on this machine, any of its awesome accessories, or to connect with a friendly representative, go ahead and hit the links in the description down below. If you have any questions on anything we've gone over today, you can leave those in the comment section as well. Now, we have noticed a lot of our viewership has been coming in from non-subscribers, so if you haven't already and you're on this video, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and drop a thumbs up while you're at it. That's pretty much gonna do it for this one. My name is Estevan, we are All American Print Supply. See you on the next one.